All right, guys, look how you doing. My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue Shack. So look, basically what I got going on today, this is the uh, maiden voyage of the shack. This is just some things I have to, uh, I have to get used to, I have to learn. Decided to uh, do some easy, basic short ribs for the uh, first cook. So look, a buddy of mine, uh, Joe from Joe's Smoking Pit Barbecue, did a presentation with, I think, uh, I think he did it with a steak and also with the beef ribs, man. That presentation has been in my uh, mind ever since I saw it. So I'm gonna kind of copy off of that only with these uh, beef short ribs. But look, today's not really about the uh, beef short ribs, although they're gonna be good. It's more about some of the things that I've learned in the uh, shack, some of the things that I need in the shack. And so let's just touch on a couple of those real quick. So look, I'm definitely in need of some type of uh, storage or some type of shelf. I need a, uh, well look, hey, I need a bottle opener already ordered. It's gonna go on one of these posts. I need a paper towel ho holder already ordered to hold some spices up also. I don't like my knives lying around all over the place, especially with Molly who's sitting right there staring at me. So I got a little magnetic knife holder ordered and uh, Three pits is just too much in the uh, shack. If you watched my uh, opening video, I had the uh, Blackstone, which is sitting right there. I got the Pit Boss, and I got the uh, Master Built. Two in the uh, shack at once is good enough. The main pit that's taking center stage for when I film, got to go right under the sign. I thought maybe I could do more in the uh, center, but it, it just doesn't leave me enough room. So it's gonna go right under the sign as is. I gotta get some kind of uh, camera stands where I can attach above and maybe on the side walls. So I gotta figure that out. I also have a little FM radio on order. That way I can listen to some tunes so I don't have to run back and forth to the house. I do have a sound system outside, um, but you know I can control it here. You know, some just some general signs maybe just to uh, spice the place up. And that's really it. So look, the uh, short ribs, I got some footage of the basic setup on the short ribs. They've been in the pit for about uh, four and a half hours. I'm thinking about another hour. We'll take them right up to toothpick tender. And again, I will present them to you as Joe did on his channel. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And look, that is it. And we will see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Look, my name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And this video is basically going to be the naming of the uh, shack contest. Give it your best shot. You could pick one name, two names, three names. I'll pick the best names of the bunch. And we're going to vote on it at our Sunday night talk that comes at 6 p.m. And we will have some, we'll throw out some Amazon gift cards, maybe a $50 and a couple $25 gift cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be good. And look, here's my Adele Strong Knife. This was our contest last week. My man Scotty's Backyard Barbecue was the uh, winner. Look, you got to get in it to win it. I also have 10% off down below. Fidel Strong's knife as it is affiliate of friends of mine. So if you want to help out the show, check out that uh, link and pick yourself up a knife. Oh, yeah. Also, real quick, man, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified every time I do a future upload as I roll my Patreon and join a member friends information for that down below. Alrighty, look, man, let's get into this uh, cook. And we got some of your basic short ribs going on here, man. Probably one of the uh, top three things that I like to cook. They're so easy. You'll get a little bit of that fat off. Usually below it, you got some silver skin. You want to get that off also. But hey, man, no big deal on these bad boys. Do what you could do, and then we are going to get a, a basic rub, an Uncle Steve Shakes competition cow powder. If you don't have that, pick some up, or you could use your favorite rub. You could use a, uh, a salt, pepper, and garlic is also real good. There you go. That's 
Man, I'm real excited about this shack. Again, this is the naming of the shack video. Give it your best shot. I'll pick the best ones that I like. We're gonna vote on them again Sunday night in our uh, in our talk, in our weekend wind down. And I'll have maybe an Amazon gift card of 50 for the winner, and maybe a 25 or two also. Now look, usually I do these uh, short ribs at 250 Fahrenheit, but for the, today's cook, I'm gonna go 275 Fahrenheit because I gotta get these bad boys done in five hours so I can eat. I don't wanna mess around with no six, six and a half hour cook. So I'm gonna go 275 and I'm gonna spritz them after the uh, two hour mark on the hour because I wanna develop that nice crust. Basically, we are looking at hour two, hour three. And moving right into hour four, and you see I got that pan underneath, because we are gonna make us up an issue. Spritzing with uh, plain old water. Alrighty, look, we are hour five and we are looking good. What I'm gonna do, let these uh, finish off for another half hour or so. I'm gonna get the pan in the house and we're gonna make out that sauce. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, look, we're gonna cover a, a basic au jus. Basically, you want a two to three tablespoons of those drippings. You wanna heat up that uh, heat up that pan. You wanna scrape that bottom. You want all those uh, chunky little burnt goodnesses uh, into the uh, sauce, right? So you wanna scrape it up. And from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with about a half a cup of red wine. And just be careful, because every time you introduce an alcohol to a flame, you know what's gonna happen. basically want to uh, start your reduction. I'll get this transferred off into a, a saute pan and we'll uh, finish it up that way. So look, we'll get that uh, goodness into a uh, saute pan. Like I said, again, you wanna get all those little black chunks in there if you can. And we're gonna start reducing this down into a, a low simmer. I'm gonna hit it with a little uh, cracked pepper and some salt. continue to uh, mix it around and simmer it up. I'm gonna hit it with a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And remember, you still do have alcohol in there. As you reduce that down to close to half, what you wanna do is go about a quarter cup or so 
of a beef stock, and I'm using that better than bouillon that my uh, viewer Will Plunkett sent me. That's good stuff. And again, we'll bring that up to a, a simmer and reduce it into half. Now, look, I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of flour so I don't have it too... Uh, you don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin, so just putting about a, a teaspoon or a little less flour in there, a pinch, and just continue to reduce it down, and you'll be in business. Oh, man, that's a flavor. That's a flavor. And now, uh, look, you'll do a little uh, taste, and you can always add. So if it needs a little salt or pepper, you can add it in. But I'm telling you, man, that is a jus to end all a jus. Look, and now we'll tend back to our ribs. We're about 5.5 in off camera. I did a uh, temp check, and we were in the twos, and she was probing like butter. Alrighty guys, before we take this in live for a taste test, let me remind you to smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified on every single time I do an upload. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, look, don't forget, this is the naming of the shack. Give it your best shot down below. I will uh, pick the uh, winner on the uh, 25th of April and maybe throw in a couple Amazon gift cards so you're definitely going to want to get involved in that for sure. All right, guys, look, that is it. The usual five and a half hour cook on these... Uh, on these short ribs, again, this was more just about getting it used to the shack. You know, different camera angles that I can do and so forth, but I do want to plate this up and then get it in the house for uh, dinner time. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I saw my buddy uh, Joe do. That just, just, it's been in me, so I had to do it. So, uh, Joe, thanks, man. I got a uh, and I want to get just a uh, and last up a little azure. And let me tell you something, man. This is you is rich in flavor with that red wine. Oh yeah, guys, man, that is it for this one. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up. This was a uh, quickie, a nice cook, man, a nice break in for the shack. Beef short rib is looking good. Setup is looking good. I like the presentation. Thanks again, Joe. And look, man, that is it for this one. Until next time, we will see you soon.